Welcome back, friends. We have chosen our next challenge. For the next couple of weeks, we will be attempting some of the challenges done by Chris Hemsworth in his Limitless series. It's gonna be a shock to the body, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I'm outside of my comfort zone further than I've ever been. We don't have the same resources here, so welcome to Poor Man's Version with me, boy. Our first task will be the four-day fast. I want you to go four days without food to do a reboot on your system. We will consume zero calories, only water, for four days. At the end of the four days, we're going to attempt to catch our own food by spearfishing. We're going to have our last meal right now, and then it's game on. Let's go. All right, this is going to be the last meal of the day, or last meal until Friday. Friday at... 12.15. Shape good. Mm -mm. Oh. Dude, I get brain freeze so bad. Dude, that hurts. I'm just built different. Chug it more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have brain freeze. I am not built different. Might throw up. Look at this shit. <laughs> I have all of them. Oh, you didn't dig it? No, I tried. I swallowed one and I almost fucking threw up. I almost died. Dude, I, I'm full. What is it? I'm so fucking mad because this is our last meal and we're not even enjoying it. Dean weighed in at 167.6 and I weighed in at 175.8. That first day, we didn't do much. We went golfing, we did the morning workout, but besides that, there was nothing really much to it. End of day one, I feel hungry, but not like grumpy yet or hangry or anything. We'll see how we wake up and how the workout feels in the morning. Energy levels might feel a little low, but yeah, we got like 12 hours. <laughs> 18 hours into the fast, hitting our first lift. I don't feel hungry, surprisingly, but well, you can see it's fucking 18 hours. Ricky's doing it too. This was an upper body push day for us, and it was a good way to start off the fast. I usually work out in the morning already, so working out fasted is somewhat normal for me. So I was pretty interested to see if I would feel any different. We were nearly a full 24 hours into this fast, and I had to go pick up my parents from the airport. I didn't think this would be one of the biggest roadblocks. Of course, I picked them up from the airport and the first thing they want to do is go have breakfast. So I had to sit through an entire breakfast with them and not eat a single thing. I knew I had to get away from my parents as fast as possible if I wanted to complete this challenge. These first 24 hours were surprisingly extremely hard for me. The whole day I was scrolling through Instagram just looking at food. We're going to test our ketone level right now. We are... How many hours are we in? 24. 31 hours in. At a certain point, when you stop eating, your body starts using fat as an energy source or ketones. This is why we feel sad right now, because our glycogen levels are depleting. I feel sad because I'm hungry. No! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect. Uh, calories. <laughs> oh, it's counting down. Oh, I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> 3.2. I'm in fucking ketosis, bro. Is that what that means? Yeah. Why? Three's Imagine dead. us not even closing. You're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> that means we can hunt. 3.2, let's go hunting. Tomorrow. Let's just call it. My blood's pure. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Score to beat, 3.2. I don't think you got it in you. No, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't hurt too bad. Squeeze it! Oh my god! What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Come on, get me again! It's gonna turn off! Hurry up, hurry up! Ow, that one doesn't hurt. Do I just slide it? On the, th on the blue. Eight. Seven. Point eight. Point eight? 32 hours. We are a third of the way there. Say it was tough. <laughs> it's fucking only a third of the way there. Anyway, we got two more days, I think. Three more days? I've been watching food videos all day. I lost five pounds today. I had to take a nap today. I haven't taken a nap in a while. How long is your nap? Like 10 minutes. No, 30. Maybe 40. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a fucking dick dragger. 
Can you cook this chicken tomorrow? Fuck no. That's fucked up. The next morning, it was time for us to do one of our challenges. The ice bath. 42 hours in, how do you feel? Horrible. Dude, I don't feel good at all. <laughs> it was to the point where people were eating and I had to leave. Like, it was actually like pissing me off. Went to bed at 7.30, couldn't fall asleep. Woke up probably every 30 minutes. This sucks. <laughs> I got up out of bed probably like two in the morning to take a piss. And like, I couldn't walk straight. Show me something. You don't deserve music. Fuck, you yeah, can't. <laughs> yeah, you can. Two minutes, come on. Dude, my stomach hurts. When you're fasting, you are extremely cold. So for us, having to do an ice bath in the middle of a fast sounded terrible. Here we go. Timer started. Day 30, not day 30. Um, day 30, bro? Fucking, oh, what is it? Shit. Hour 43, yeah. 96 hour fast. How's the body feel? There's breakfast. I knew that we had another task later that day. The sauna. Oh, it feels good getting out. Yeah. Uh, all right. We are 43 hours in, into the fast at 96 hours. Just got out of the ice bath. I'm really cold, but the cold took away some of the hunger, so that's nice. Other than that, feeling pretty good energy level wise. It is harder than I expected. I didn't think the first two days to be this hard. I did about a total of 30 minutes in the sauna at about 190, 195 degrees. After the sauna, we wanted to test our ketones to see if there was a significant spike or not. All right, we're gonna test our ketones now that we finished the sauna. Hopefully Dean's aren't fucking 0. 0.5 again, 0. 0.8. 0. 0.8, jerk. I'm feeling pretty good. Not feeling too, too hungry, not feeling super tired. Pretty hungry. You're hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah. That was a good one. 3.1? About the same, huh? Yeah, you were at 3.5 yesterday. Was it? Mm-hmm. I ate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with threes. But you went down. So oh, like I'm that a, sucks. Like at like a 0 0.1. All right, Dean, you're up. If your bitch ass isn't above one, you have to do a fifth day. <laughs> We'll leave it up to the people. No, because they're gonna put me on the fifth day. Ow. Right. Why aren't you bleeding? I don't know. Squeeze better. Good. There you go. God, you put it like on top. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I did what you told me to do. I don't need to do this. <laughs> you literally, I did exactly what you said. Honestly, that should be a fifth day. If Sign. I'm doing a fifth day, you're doing a fifth day. He just likes to see suffer. people suffer, but not himself. I don't, I don't agree with that. You're rattled right now, bro. Day. I mean, just be better, right? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I ended up cooking a full dinner for Caitlin. A full chicken, some this. sweet potatoes, some green beans. 57 hours in, I just made a fucking whole ass chicken for Caitlin. It smells good in here. It smells so good right now. That just feels like I'm eating. We have 72 hours, not 72 hours. So, what dude, the like. Fuck? 27 hours remaining, Ricky has 26. Me and Dean have 27 hours remaining of the fast. We feel pretty fucking good right now. I feel like, really good I today. don't feel tired. I don't feel super hungry either. We're gonna do a little pole workout right now. See how we feel after that. I feel like I could run through a wall right now. Thursday morning, it was time for another strength exercise. We wanted to just try to strength train every day just to minimize the loss of muscle mass. It was time for Ricky to test his ketone levels to see where he was at. You're lying. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you see that white dot or that blue dot? Yeah. You're gonna put your blood right there. Ow. Oh shit. There you go. There you go. What? Shit. Looks like we're Dude, doing a fifth day together. Point six? 
Dude, I'm actually kind of mad. I'm actually really mad. I think you're both technically still in ketosis, but not at the same, like... Just because we work harder. <laughs> no, I think it's because I slightly prepared. But Just to make this clear, you don't have to be in ketosis to have a good fast. The level of ketones in your blood doesn't mean you succeeded in your fast or failed. I was like hammered on Saturday. You're a piece of shit. I mean, this shit! Dude, that actually makes me really sad. Now I'm just like, do I just fucking cave in now? But yeah. at that level, we're still, we're at a lower level ketosis? You, you're still slightly in ketosis, but not at the level cool. to where you're like gonna be like, oh, yeah. feeling it pretty good. Where are we headed? To go do some jujitsu on the fourth day of our fast. For what? To test them ketones. We're about to find out what ketones are really about. Daniel's gonna be fighting for the 145 pound belt um, for epic fighting. He's a purple belt in jujitsu. And yeah, he has four MMA fights yeah. under his belt. belt are, what color belt are we? We're zero belts. <laughs> We're going to this We're fucking Raw. Casper belt. He wants to spar after? He said, he said, if you guys want, we could throw on the gloves and like Just put some work in. Yeah. He said, what? He said, pop off on each other. <laughs> like, excuse me? <laughs> Insert Mr. Casman. We're about to get work. At first, Daniel was being nice with us. Get some takedowns, do some submissions. After we had our fun, it was Daniel's turn. It was time for me and Dean to go one on one. We were so gassed that I just had to lay on him. Whatever ketones we had against Daniel were completely gone. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm gassed. I'm you, but you did better than expected, huh? Yeah. Like you I didn't did. think you'd have this much energy? No, I had the end. Like I didn't think I was gonna be able to push. Yeah. Video, but I definitely did. Yeah, that was I'm sick. Tired. That was good. The ketones, ketones kicked in. Ketones kicked in, but then they were gone. As soon as fucking E and Dean got at it, I was dead. Like my my arms were like about to cramp. My abs feel like they're about to cramp. Like I need some juice in me right now. 
and that got me going. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to cramp. <laughs> I, I was cramping with me. You didn't get like, my fucking arms oh, right there. <laughs> my abs are like cramping right now. <laughs> You're like about to go. How's your energy though? Better than I thought. Better than I thought for sure. You guys look good. You guys like... For four days no eating? Dude, exactly. And it's first day too. Yeah. yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Daniel with my ass shit. How many hours we got left? I don't know, what time is it? 8.22. 8.22. 2.4. 12.16. 16. 16 hours. After that is sleep, baby, let's go. After rolling, it was time for us to check our ketone levels again. I know, I feel low energy right now. If you fuck up again, you got to do it. No. Dang. <laughs> You have to do it. If I fuck it up again, I'm just gonna go eat right now. <laughs> we rolled for like an hour, did five rounds of sparring, and we fucking survived. The ketones were there. So if they don't pop up right now, it's bullshit. I feel fucking dead now. Alright, I'm gonna watch you close. Oh, I felt that break. Give me something good. Give me something good. Whoa, oh, that's some bullshit. Oh. <laughs> That's some bullshit. You're eating, you're a cheater. I think it does affect. It goes down. Yeah. Because yeah. we trained hard like an hour ago. So we probably had to do it an hour ago. Because I was feeling good and now I feel dead. Bro, three. if you're at 1.3, I'm going to be out of <laughs> You're going to be negative. Yeah, bro, same needle. Okay, same needle. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> I already feel like I'm going to fuck this up again. Dean, please. <laughs> I'm letting you know now. I'm going to do my very best. Put it on that corner right there. Where the, that strip is. Mm -hmm, the blue. Right below the blue. You don't like, just right put it on Right below the blue. It. Just put a fuck in, put your finger there. Yeah, you got blood. Oh my gosh, Dean. Like that, right? You're gonna need more. You're gonna need more. You're gonna need more. God damn it. That was bad. Dude, I did exactly what you just told me to do. Hey, take it out. Just try it again. <laughs> See if it works. Damn. Guess we'll never know. Dude, you're cheating. How? You don't want them to know. Well, Dean's eating. I'm not. He doesn't want you guys to know. I'm not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> you know how this goes. 15 hours left. We're diving tomorrow, or I'm diving tomorrow for some food. Hopefully we catch some lobsters. Hello, Rich, San Diego City Beach and weather port. Air temperature is 58, water temperature 59. Diving conditions for today, poor or hazardous. Well, strong surge. I don't know if it's the best idea to go solo diving for some food right now. I feel fine. Like, I don't feel super hungry and my energy is good. I've done solo dives before, but at the end of a four day fast, doing a solo dive just didn't sound smart to me. The surf was large, swells were big, surge was strong. It didn't make sense for me to go on a solo dive to catch some lobsters that day. Normally this wouldn't stop me, but it was probably a smart thing to do. But I, I know, I know I'm gonna cramp already. I feel it. There's no avoiding it, which I'm okay with, but I don't like diving alone too often. I did catch two lobsters the other day, um, hoop netting on a homie's boat. Damn, shit says hazardous conditions. Usually wouldn't stop me, but 91 hours in on a fast, mm. don't know if I wanna find out. The fuck around and find out level is, we're about to be up here, right? How's it? Fuck around, find out, we're about to find out. <laughs> well, what do we do now? That should be your first bite. Zin. 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 Dude, that shit would fucking throw me in a fucking coma. <laughs> Wonder how we're gonna shit. It's either gonna feel really good or really bad. We're tight again. Ricky's gonna, his time's up, it's 11.10. He's gonna break his fast with uh, the smoothie. a little smoothie. It smells super good. We're doing a four day fast. <laughs> yeah, we we're about to wanna, break it fast. So. so we don't wanna like start throwing up right away. I'll do, <laughs> can I do PB Oreo? Can we actually do two of those? He's gonna want one too, yeah. <laughs> I know people that do like 30 to 60. What? what? Okay, so the two PB Oreos, anything else? That's it, okay. thank you so much. We'll have it right now, give us a few minutes. Awesome, thank, thank you. you. I need to feel a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How do you do 30 days? Dude, how do you do 60? Is that real? I mean, I get, I mean, off of it. It's us, this is us. Cool, actual. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. It was time to test our ketone levels for the very last time. No! <laughs> the prick wasn't deep. There you go. You fucked up. Oh, I 
fucked up. Oh, I fucked Dude. up. Dude. Oh, I fucked up. There we go. That's a shit ton of blood. That's a fuck. It still got it? That was bullshit. <laughs> Let's go home. Here's Oh, oh my hey, god. god damn. I'm hungry. Oh, Ketones are kicking. <laughs> Oh, I hope I don't fuck this one up. Since we haven't gotten a good reading on Dean, I was actually worried there that we were going to go this entire time without getting anything from Dean. Go, 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 go! Keep going, keep going! Dude. Oh, let's go, let's go, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! 4.9! Ketones are kicking! Oh, yeah. God, <laughs> the boys are fucking buzzing. Oh, we did this shit. Hey, much of that shit now. Yeah, we gotta wear ourselves. We gotta oh, wear yeah, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone who thought I was eating? We <laughs> should. <laughs> Dude, you could have been doing a fifth day right now. Anyone who thought I was eating? All right. So we're at. Uh, we started at like 175 point something. Point like five. Shit. Shit. Oh. All right. All right, pounds. Okay. So I was at 169? Something like that. 158? 158 on the dock. 11 pounds. Overall, Ricky lost about 11 and 12 pounds within the four days. I lost about 10, and Dean about 10 too. These last couple days were pretty, pretty good for me. They weren't super hard. Energy's been there. I might do it again. Uh, first day was easy, second day was tough. Third day was tough. Fourth day was tough. I probably won't do it again. Shit, yeah, first okay. two. 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 <laughs> it feels so weird, right? It Give me some guys. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> oh gosh. This was my last meal. This is my first meal. <laughs> Those four days taught us so much about perspective. It really made me appreciate food so much more. Now, every time that I'm eating, I really want to make every bite and just everything worth it. Like, I want every single ingredient. I think to be this is worth halibut. It. This is going to be our meal, baby. This is a good one right here. It's time to eat. Throughout this four day fast, we did drink one thing besides water, and it was electrolytes. We did half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of magnesium malate, and one eighth of a teaspoon of potassium chloride. Actually, this gave Dean mud butt. He was like squirting out of his ass. Tastes like fucking wet socks. If you guys wanna try this out, please talk to your doctor, see if it's right for you. There are some risks. You can become hypoglycemic. There's also the risk of ketoacidosis, but the benefits are plentiful. I'm definitely planning on doing this again, and I'm probably gonna incorporate this into my routine somehow. What a way to finish a fast, huh? Dude, huh? Got the halibut, Dorado, lobsters, salad. Let's go, boys. I'm salivating. With your hands. After our feast, we quickly found out that we ate way too much. About an hour after we ate, all three of us had the squirts. And I'm talking squirts, like straight piss coming out of our ass. But if you don't want those side effects, introduce food again with liquids. Try to avoid solids as your first food and do a small amount. If you wanna try this, please talk to your doctor. The benefits are plentiful, but there are some risks. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. More challenges are on the way. But for now, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.